Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Lauren Solik. A Ukrainian family living in Sioux Falls is asking for help to bring their father home. Kelloland's Summer Rottershot talked with his wife to see how dire their situation is. Nadia Belaev and her children sought refuge here from the Ukraine in July of 2022. However, her husband was not allowed to leave the country. He's not allowed to leave Ukraine because of the war. If you have less than three children, you're not allowed to leave. Vitaly was fighting on the front lines of the Russian invasion of Ukraine when he got hurt. At the time he was injured, he spent more than eight hours laying on the battlefield, covered with all kinds of debris, and when they found him, they had to dig him out. Along with losing 50 percent of his blood, his left leg was also severely injured to the point where they had to amputate it in order to survive. He's about to be discharged. His wound is almost healed. His family and their friends have been working with the foundation in Minnesota that supports Ukrainian soldiers with prosthetics and getting them to the United States. However, the family still needs to raise $20,000. It's a nonprofit and they provide a certain amount of the funding. And then we are looking to raise funds to get um, the prosthetic itself that is not funded for his leg. And there is a group that um, they can go and, and get to come over to the U.S. at the end of October. If they cannot raise the money by October 8th, it could be another five months, if not longer, before they can be together again. I can't imagine um, what they've gone through, their family. <laughs> um, it's a way to shed Christ's light in the darkness um, through the war over there. I hope we can reunite as a family because my children miss their dad very much. In Sioux Falls, Summer Rotter shot Kelloland News. Summer was also translating for Nadia in this story. The family says that even the price of a cup of coffee will greatly benefit their efforts to bring their dad home. You can find a GoFundMe link to this story on our website at kelloland.com.